Hi, welcome to my channel, Eski The Wonder. And if you are new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And you requested to me to make a video that I speak entirely in English and today is the day. So let's get started. I would like to start with the first thing that is really important for me to actually figure out because if you don't know why you are learning a foreign language then it is a bit hard to actually give yourself to that learning process. For me it is so much fun to learn a new language because learning a new language is not only learn about learning about grammatical rules but rather learn learning about a new culture which is really important for me if i'm surrounded by people from all over the world from different countries from different cultures then i feel like i'm i'm in paradise and it is really important because yeah if you learn a new language, you start to feel another culture, you start to learn specific expressions that this language has. And these things tell you a lot about how people live in other societies, in other communities. So that is really important. And the second thing is for me that, well, the most important thing is for uh, for me is to communicate with people in my life if I am able to communicate with others then yeah I enjoy my life because sharing my own experiences and hearing others experiences is really important in in such a way that improves your personality I guess so for me yeah I am a huge language uh, fan and I'm so so enthusiastic about learning languages and I hope you guys also feel that excitement in your language learning process. So now I would like to talk about some tips how you can uh, improve your language learning process and I'd like to start with that um, saying that I've never missed an opportunity to use the language. So you probably know that there are programs like Isaac or others that people are from different countries come to your country to make to do some projects and meanwhile they are paying visits to high schools or universities to introduce their countries to give about their uh, cult uh, to give presentations about their cultures and languages or whatnot. So. I remember the times when I was in high school and I used every single opportunity to talk to them in breaks or after classes. I gave my contact number or social media accounts and I remember that we were, for example, uh, with the friend from Brazil, we were talking um, till 3 a.m. in the morning on Facebook or once I got a postcard from Japan I was shocked I mean that was really amazing to have a postcard from all the, um, from all the way down from Japan it is really wow thing for me it was so because I was like 15 or something and I have always been an extrovert so I love speaking I love communicating and this is the most important thing in my life and languages make it easier so try to speak try to find a way to do that but probably you hesitate to make mistakes while you are speaking nobody cares if you make mistakes because you know what is important if you do not make any mistakes you can't really know what are your problems in that particular language if you start to speak you realize that you have problems with for example past simple tense or or some specific vocabularies then you really need to practice speaking if you don't have any opportunities to speak a foreign person then probably you need to make a lot of effort what could you do uh well personally i was going around <laughs> and try to look for some tourists if they need any help because if i see a tourist got lost then i would offer hey can i help you do you need anything maybe yeah i can tell you if you need something and yeah 
most of the time I was successful and I remember once in Istanbul when I was 18 I helped two people from the United States uh, to get the tickets and they gave me a 50 cent <laughs> coin and I still keep that coin because it was such a nice memory I my English was not that advanced at the time but still I tried and I never hesitate to to make mistakes it is not important if you make mistakes will people laugh at you then leave them just yeah okay you also shouldn't care about them because they won't define your uh, skills in learning languages you don't have to be perfect in that sense the second thing if you really don't have anybody to speak with then don't worry because yeah there are still some solutions i do that maybe not every day but every sing every second day let's say i wake up and look at the mirror and i choose a topic that i would like to talk about that could be a movie that you watched yesterday that could be your breakfast what you like to eat in your breakfast or maybe you are angry at some person then you like to talk about that or maybe you will have uh, have to do something then you need to talk about it just to take a topic and try to explain that in your language the language that you're learning and then you will notice that you need some vocabulary you need some uh, words that you couldn't find the right words and then you will take your notebook and then you will write down these words that you need to explain your feelings your emotions the things that you want to explain to the mirror and then you will go and take a dictionary and you will look at the definitions um sorry you will look at the words that you need to express this is a really improving way because then you will be aware of the words you really need to explain the movie you watched yesterday and while doing that you will improve your vocabulary the other thing is the usage of dictionaries i've been using this old longman <laughs> for um i don't know how many years but this is very old for, probably for my brother even and i really like using um this dictionary because it is english to english and it is really important for me to use a dictionary that is uh, from english to english then you will have definitions made in english maybe in beginner elementary levels you can't really understand the exact meanings but as you progress you will be um, aware of that is really improving your language because you start to think in that language rather than in your native language and the other thing is that when you um, check the dictionary i know that many people have problems with pronunciations and usually they have a heavy accent um, when they are speaking english or any other foreign language well it is not really a thing that you need to be ashamed of but if you want to improve that i can give some tips about it for example let's take an easy uh, word that we all know computer and maybe you already noticed that many people pronounce it like computer 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 i don't know <laughs> many different ways but the the true way is to uh, pronounce it computer how do i know that if you check the dictionary the uh, you will see that there is uh, next to the word there is the phonetic pronunciation phonetic alphabet actually maybe i can show that i'm not sure if you can see that but there are uh, um, ways to show you guys how to pronounce that like the abcd alphabet there there is another alphabet for example there is a sound called schwa which is um this um upside down e and you pronounce it like uh, in Turkish kind of so the if you look at the maybe yeah if you look at the phonetic here computer 
you will learn how to pronounce every single word by looking at these sounds. So they have example words for each single representations. If I can find a link, I will put it down below so you can check it. So this is how I improved my pronunciation actually. I used this dictionary to get the definitions of the words at, and at the same time the pronunciation of the words. Another very important thing that I said that I used every single opportunity. So when I was watching a TV series or listening to radio, if I've encountered with um, different languages, I always try to make down some notes like this is called Almanja Kelimeler Sözlü which is a German vocabulary notebook kind of thing so <laughs> I I even wrote the words wrongly like I wanted to wrote wasa wasa <laughs> water in German but it is just totally wrong but still I tried you know maybe someday I hope that I find the true way to to speak the language so you just take a pen and a notebook. This is, I know, old school, but it's really important in improving. If you really do that, you will uh, see that it is really, really, really um, helpful to gain an understanding of a language. For example, I usually write down the word first and I put in parentheses if it is a verb or it is a noun, an adjective or not. And then I made the uh, explanation, the definition. I wrote the definition. And then I usually write an example sentence because it is really important to see the usage of the word. And if I still have questions about the usage or some grammatical rules. I uh, ask questions to myself to search uh, for these rules more later. So this is really important if you take this notebook and look at it after some times. You repeat it and repeat it again and again if you make a list in the on the first page like the Wörterliste of in german and i write down the every word that i've learned and then i repeat the list again and again after a month or two months so i can see if i already forgotten or i still remember those the other thing is that of course uh, reading books it doesn't really matter in on which level you are but it's really important you start to uh, read something for example this is probably a beginner level and as you progress your level also will progress and then you can switch to to higher levels of of these books for example this is level two this is level three or four this is level six so finally you will get to that point where you can really use the language and you really understand but maybe one important thing when you're reading a book um, first try to understand a full page at a single time do not check every single uh, words definition on the dictionary but try to understand that meaning from the context because really important maybe you don't really understand 30 percent of the page but still you can get the idea what it is talking about so let's um let's be patient and try to understand the general idea and then if you really struggle in understanding then you can go and check some words definition and try to make notes on these things again. Writing is really important because repeating and writing is really, really um, crucial uh, in language learning, my, in my opinion. Another thing is that you can have um, some grammatical books to help you along the way. I use, for example, this is a Portuguese grammatical book, grammatic book, and I sometimes look at the rules and this is for example Deutsch üben lesen und schreiben and this is a German practical exercise book for reading and writing. So I just pick a pick an exercise in a day. I try to understand and solve that and if even if I can't finish it in that day, I try to make some efforts to understand the vocabulary or the um 
conceptual idea what is it talking about food or you know uh, moving to another country what is it yeah this is really uh, helping and of course there are uh, many <laughs> applications online uh, tools that you can use for example I use Duolingo memorize linguist and uh, and also you can use YouTube as you are doing right now <laughs> uh, so you can type like learn German, Spanish, English with blah 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 so you will probably see many many channels that tries that try to uh, teach people that language so this is another way so these were my suggestions I hope they were helpful for your uh, language learning process and I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please please give, give a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and see you in the next videos. Bye!